everyone and welcome back to today's video today I'm using this kit from delish scraps I'll leave the link down below in case anyone wants to check their website out now this kit is obviously a superhero boy kind of kit and was gifted to me um, very so nicely from Korean and it goes so well with lots of photos but I figured this photo would be a funny one to use it for so we've got cut file, tissue paper, flare, wood veneer, all types of embellishments, some little journaling and printable spots and paper bag and everything you could possibly ask for in terms of embellishments. So I'm going to start by cutting my paper into a 9 by 12 piece of cardstock and that is how I just freaked myself out because of the braining strip but it's the other way so of course it's still 12 <laughs> that length. Anyway. So I'm going to start with this cut file and see what I could, how I could work it. I hadn't opened this kit until now and I've just, as you know, as we're seeing it kind of together, I'm trying to piece things together to make a layout that I'm happy with. So ripping off the edges because I printed with my selfie printer and I'm thinking they will make some good layering pieces and I figured I could even use the stencil with these little stars and make it come from the top and the bottom of the cut file where the photo is going to be in the middle there. So I pulled out my modeling texture paste, brand new bottle and boy is it so fluffy and lovely. I'm going to put some simply up the top there and then simply down the bottom there. Didn't think I wanted it behind and underneath the cut file because I wanted the cut file to sing on its own on the side of the photo there but also I just wanted a little bit of it showing. I don't want um, it to be too overwhelming in that area. So while that dries a little bit I am going to get to layering some layers behind my photo. Just going to add this tissue paper. It is doubled over so we get a fair chunk of tissue paper which is really lovely. I love tissue paper. It's a nice little textured layered piece but also the the colors are often and lovely. So I hadn't realized here and I was going I was like oh I'll fold it over and we'll have heaps of layers but I don't think I end up doing that. We didn't need to. So just going to glue these two together because once I cut the bottom of that tissue paper, it's not going to be attached and that will just be pointless. So might as well do it now while it's a bit easier. And then I'm just going to trim the edges, make them um, fairly even. We are cutting with scissors and it is me. So of course it's not going to be entirely even. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. My son's having a shower and... Um, Obviously the pipes in the house is all, you know, it's not a big house. So it all sounds everywhere, everything. So I'm going to use this yellow paper bag as another layering piece. And it is a little bit bigger than my photo. So I do end up cutting it down and just using it as a paper layer rather than a paper bag where I could add some journaling. Maybe another time I will use a, a paper bag like that. So I'm just going to position it so there's yellow on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to rip the sides two sides and cut two sides to make this photo layer. Now this separates the bag and then um, I try to add the second layer of the bag but we don't need that so we're not going to worry about that. Just think it brings a nice pop of the yellow to the layers and it's just um, this kit's really lovely with the black, the blue, the red and the yellow. So here we go just trying to see if that is what is needed and it's not so now I'm going to work with putting the cut file and the photo onto the page cutting these ones off because I know they'll be behind the photo and if I want to use them then I'm better off having them out rather than attached so here we go this is looking like I want it there I've even got that bottom little star circle star above on, to, on top of the photo just going to add some washi to hold it in place Wash is always a good little um, placeholder if you're looking for sewing or adding things underneath and that kind of a layer. Now I'm just using some glossy accents glue just because it has a fine tip to add this cut file. I have run out of my normal glue and I just purchased some you know, cheap old craft glue from the dollar shop, the reject shop and it has the massive lid. and. Because I'm so used to glue coming slowly out of bottles, I often squirt so much out it's ridiculous. And I didn't want to do that on this teeny weeny cut file. So, cut down a big piece of fun foam that's going to layer up behind my photo so it's off the, off the cardstock and add some shadow and some dimension. 
And that way also the cut file's not flat to the um, to the page. Although I do pull it out here and I think I do do that. So you can think about where you want your cut file. So I've changed my mind and want the cut file flat with the photo raised off top of it. And other times I've wanted the cut file attached to the photo and raised off the, the layout in that way. So you can see now just repositioning that one, making that little cluster extend and then I'm going to work on the other little cuts, the cut off circles and stars to extend it down below the photo here. It's just a really nice little cut file that you can use like layering like this or you could definitely um, back it with some patterned paper and do the normal cut file thing that way. So just cut that one in half so I could get my money's worth and put two on there and look, make it look like it's fully, you know, the cut files from the top to the bottom. And I'm just going to add something there to cover in that little space there that it's left. So you can see there, I haven't, there's nothing too technical about this layout. It's a nice, simple, basic 101 kind of design. We're just going to, um, you know, beef it up with a few extra bits and pieces shortly. So just figuring out where I want to put that one because there's no point having just one left over, but I can't make it work. So I leave it for now. And if I, you know, it'll work out some way. It'll work out in the wash, as they say. Now, I realized at this stage I needed some kind of a border to my layout. I was wondering if I could pack it with some patent paper and I figured, oh, that's so much effort. I don't want to go through my patent paper to find the right piece. And I realized that I could use this tissue paper instead. So I put some glue down, ripped the edge of the tissue paper and I've attached the smallest strip to the top. I'm just going to cut it back and then you will see how much I, there's not much to it at all. I don't need much. So on it goes and then I'm going to do the same to the bottom and I've stupidly put my hand in the wet modeling paste but that's all right just flatten it out a little i'm going to do the same to the bottom here and i had to move that star because it was in the way and you can see how that has just transformed the whole way the page looks it just encompasses it together as a page rather than something just floating in some white space I do add some of this um, pattern paper bag. Just add a little bit of pop of the yellow to the top and the bottom. It doesn't necessarily need it, but I just like the fact that it had a little bit of extra interest. And I was wondering where to put it, but I realized it needed to be the top and the bottom of the photo and the cut file cluster. Otherwise, it would draw your eye oddly away from the direction of where everything else is going. So just a little strip up there. And you can see here, I have a little play down here to work out where this little strip needs to go. And ultimately I end up, I went to glue it there, but then I put it underneath the photo, realizing it needed to be top and tailed. So a bit extra down the bottom, but that's okay because you don't want it all even. Well, I don't want it all even. I want it to have that little abstract like you've um, randomly, but purposely put it there. So you can see there, just that little pop of yellow, it just really makes a difference. So now I'm going to work on embellishing the layout and working out what I want to put on. There's so many, there's just a bit too much choice. So I do fiddle around a little bit with what I want to put where. And then this is looking good. And then I realized that I'd probably want one of the flares. So instead I was like, okay, I can't work this out. I'm going to put some of these little stars. And I'm going to put them in between the little modeling paste stars that are on the page, positioning the colors around so that they're not, you know, sitting next to each other in terms of colors. And that just makes it flow off the edge of the cut file. So the cut file is like in a little um, half circle shape, a crescent, encompassing the photo as it goes down. So just bringing those stars up into the cut file, not too many, just a few, just means that it makes it all one cluster rather than the little bit down the bottom and the, with the texture paste and the stars by itself with the little one up the top by itself and then the cut file as a third one like it's better to have it all encompassed from the top going around the photo to the bottom 
so they're just easy to put on again with my glossy accents because of the size of the the nozzle on that one and we're gonna find a spot for this one I really had to you know I just kept coming back to it when I was fiddling through with the embellishments I knew it needed to go somewhere so on it goes and I had I did wonder if I needed this big journaling spot but it was just too big it was going to take away from what was going on these ones are nice but they're just not the right one and then I wanted this flare I really kept coming back to this flare so I pull out this little journaling label spot and I'm going to cut it down so the border's not too um, square and it's going to go underneath that flare and go to start a cluster there and that rhymes so on it goes I'm going to add a bit of journaling and some of the stars to it and that's pretty much going to be it for now the the good thing about the kit is that it comes together that's my little where's my pen <laughs> jiggle <laughs> um, it comes together so easy because there's um, such good choice of embellishments it works in our favor to put a page together and there's enough left that I'll be able to do another page or two or some project life or something like that so it's definitely a nice little addition to your um, scrappy stash if you're looking for something small they always do some really nice um, boy collection themed collections they come out with a new one each month so they've called they call them paper add-on kits so you just need to add the paper and then you've got a kit because you get so many embellishments and some journaling and printables and whatnot it's really really cool so adding a few more of these stars one because it needed and two because I tipped a few more out than I had needed for that little label I've added my journaling wondered if I needed some more flair I really like this one but it's not needed at the top and I realized I could put it there and I thought I could put the third one but that third one's a bit more superhero-y and not really relevant to this page so I leave that cool down the bottom now there to sit and rest to see if it's what I wanted I eyed off the washi so I'm going to rip a piece off and then rip it in half lengthways so that it has a ripped edge as I stick it down on this label and then this is where I realized I could stick some of that blue to those top and bottom clusters where the border is so that's what I'm going to do have a little play around with the the ripping of the washi to get it down here on the bottom sometimes washi rips really evenly and it goes like straight in a line straight but you know like with a ripped edge and other times it rips so that it's thicker in parts and thinner and thick again and that's what I was looking for because you can see the tissue papers like that so I had to work out ripping my washi in the, on the, this occasion so I pull out my little container of flare and I find the right one with the, the perfect colors it's probably even might even be from Delisha I'm not too sure I'm going to put it on there with some fun foam because it wasn't flat backed like the ones from Delish Scraps are. And that's going to be that little end of the cluster. So, just going to do some finishing touches in terms of a title. Now, I flick through this really quickly so you don't have to see me spending forever placing things down. I figured the title Fun would be nice. And I end up with a title top and bottom that says you are so much fun because he is. I asked for a, an after photo after his haircut and he picks up whole chunks of hair and gives me this little, um, you know, like evil villain kind of face as he's holding his hair. <laughs> it's so, <laughs> so crazy, but so, so him, so fun. So on goes my title and we're pretty much going to call it a day after that. You can see here on they go and I think that yellow was just the right type it doesn't stand out as something that's um, opposite to what the page is going on but it stands out enough that you can read it so here's the the what do you call it the close-up this is the finished product so I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you tomorrow's video bye